everyone, today I'm going to be testing out the Barry M peel off base coat. I don't normally use peel off base coats because I've got a physical job and I'm scared in case my nails just pop off after 5 minutes. However, I'm doing a Christmas nail look tomorrow night so I thought I would test this out to see if it actually lasts throughout a working day. Here are my nails before applying the base coat. I've already removed all of their nail polish and dehydrated the nails. Here are my nails after applying the base coat. While applying this, I noticed that it smells and feels a little bit like watered down PVA glue. The description says, Ideal for tricky to budge manis like glitter. Apply a layer of peel it base coat. Add your nail paint on top. When you want to remove it, simply peel it off. And in case you didn't know, Barry M Nail Polish is vegan. Another thing that I noticed about this is that the brush is really stiff. It's like when you use a brush in PVA glue and then the bristles start to stick together. So it's more like a little bit of flexible plastic rather than bristles. This stuff takes a little bit longer than I'm used to to dry down, but once it's fully dry, it's completely clear. I've just applied two coats of this Barry M nail polish in the shade White Moonstone, and my nails are looking a complete mess. It's obviously because of the base coat, but to be fair, I've never used this base coat before, so it might get better as a practice. I'm now going to finish off with this Barry M top coat. This isn't the top coat that I usually use, but I just thought I would stay on brand. Looking at this nail polish under this light, I've just noticed that it looks quite patchy, but I'm just getting ready for work and I've got no time to put on another coat. This is the final result after I cleaned it up a little bit. Not the best, but certainly not the worst. The next day, after I had the nail polish on for about 16 hours, one of the nails popped off just as I was getting out the taxi to go to work. Thankfully, it popped off in one little shell, which means I can stick it back on. If my nails ever pop off like this, I apply one layer of base coat and just stick it back on. End of day two, just about to go to bed and I've had my second casualty. However, once again, it came off in one little shell. So using the same method as before, I'm just going to stick this back on. Good as new. Mishap number three. While I'm in bed at night, I get really itchy legs. And while I was scratching my legs there, this one popped off. But once again, it's came off in a perfect shell and I'm sticking it back on. Perfect. Morning three and I've got this little chip on the side of my nail. I'm going to have to fill this in before work, otherwise it's going to just pop straight off. I decided to keep these on for a few days. This was me in the bingo looking like an idiot with some nails missing, but I just wanted to see how long they would last. Blue all the fives, 55. Blue five of one, 51. We've now reached the end of day four. When I woke up this morning, this one had popped off, and then later on during the day, this one fell off as well. And I didn't bother sticking them back on because I'm just coming home to wash my hair. And that's also one of the reasons why I've left these on. I'd be interested to see if these will survive a hair wash. Considering these have been on for four days, I don't think they're too bad. When you take into consideration that peel off base coat is really only meant to last for about one or two days, I think these are pretty good. One thing that I would like to say is that the Barry M top coat doesn't stop white nail polish from yellowing. I've used it over the top of white nail polish before and it done the exact same thing in about two days. So keep that in mind if you're planning on using a white nail polish. So now I'm going to go and wash my hair and see if any of these survive. Last night after my bath, all the nails survived, but this one just fell off this morning. Considering these have now been on for five days, I'm surprised they didn't all just float away. Now it's finally time to remove the peelies. I realised that other people remove their peelies with a wooden stick, however I just thought I would do this the way I normally do it, and to be honest, sometimes I'll even bite them off, but I wouldn't recommend that. As you can see here, they were coming off pretty easily, however on the tips of some of the nails, they weren't peeling off. I thought that I would have been able to remove them really easily with nail polish remover, however I found that I was scrubbing away at the tips of my nails, for about 5 minutes and it was really difficult to remove. It was as if I didn't have peel off base coat on the tips of my nails. The strange thing was that it was the same two nails on each hand that had this issue. 
Oh my god, that just took so much effort to remove. I was literally scrubbing at these two parts for five minutes. Thank god I was using a peel-off base coat with that nail polish because it would have never have came off. This nail still got a bit of polish on it after all that scrubbing. I'm just about to go and prep my nails again and give this one more chance for a one day test. I done a much better job applying this the second time and I haven't noticed any lumps or anything so far. Also, the brush on this seems to have fixed itself. The first time I applied this the brush was like solid plastic but it seems to have softened up now and it's just like a normal nail polish brush. Not sure why that is but it's fine with me. The nail polish I applied was two coats of fun lacquer in the shade Magical. This time I had no problems applying the base coat and there was no mess whatsoever. After wearing this nail polish for around 24 hours, I decided to peel it off, this time using a cuticle tool. Sorry about the bloody video. The peelers that you get from this aren't solid shells, so some of them just rip in half. Once again, I had the same problem on the same nails. For some reason, the nail polish wasn't peeling off the tips of the nails. This was the same on both hands and I literally have no explanation for this whatsoever. Once again, I had to peel them off and then finish removing the nail polish with nail polish remover. On the tips of these nails, it didn't feel like I was wearing a peel off base coat at all and I was just finding it impossible to remove. At this point I thought I was going to end up just peeling off my full nail. This is what was left. One hand was a lot worse than the other. To be fair, the right hand wasn't too bad. Now it's time for my final thoughts. Regardless of the fact that parts of the nail polish were difficult to remove, I would still recommend this base coat. The reason I would still recommend it is that I've used peel off base coats before. I woke up the next morning and my peelies have been lying all over my bed. Another reason I would recommend it is that it's pretty cheap. I think it's about £3 a bottle. Even though I had some difficulty removing parts of it, I feel as if it was still worth the money. If you're someone who has a job that you're not allowed to wear nail polish and you're looking to just paint your nails for one or two days, this is perfect. However, if you're planning on wearing glittery nail polish, Prepare to still have to use some nail polish remover. If you're looking for a peel off base coat just to do swatches and remove the nail polish as soon as possible and you live in the UK, I highly recommend the Poundland 2-in-1 base and top coat. If you use that as a base and top coat, you'll find that the nail polish will peel off in one hard shell and to be honest you don't even have to peel it off, they normally just pop off when you're in bed. Let me know in the comments if you have used this peel off base coat before. Also let me know what your favourite peel off base coat is. If you liked this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here consider subscribing. Thanks for watching. Bye!